Better be on your way. Get along. Get him, little dog. You could be debating if he is the greatest of all time, but Leonardo DiCaprio is certainly among the best that Hollywood ever had to offer. However, as much as this living legend is talked about for his iconic movies, he also gets a fair bit of attention for a peculiar trait in his personal life. Well, it seems like our main man doesn't date women beyond the age of 25, and the statistical backing of this notion is so strong that we feel like it's time to dive into his dating history and explore all his major girlfriends throughout his career. Remember guys, it's all fun and games because just like millions of others, we are massive fans. So do take this in the same light-hearted manner as it is intended. Bridget Hall, his first model girlfriend. Back in 1994, DiCaprio was rumoured to be dating this supermodel who was a former Victoria's Secrets model. They attended several events together, which gave fuel to the rumours and there was probably some truth to the speculations because neither of them denied the relationship outright. Bridget Hall had a flourishing career where she worked with many luxury brands like Gucci and Ralph Lauren and Leo was only getting started in terms of his international fame and prestigious career. Of course, Bridget Hall was below 25 back then, but so was Leo and there was no one to frown upon his choices. I've seen you play ball, Jim. You're a very beautiful player. Britney Daniel, his co-star from The Basketball Diaries. It seems like the beautiful Britney Daniel didn't just seduce Leo on screen. The actor was involved in a brief relationship with the actress and they dated for a few months in 1994 after DiCaprio split from his ex. Of course, Leo was too young to be serious and so was Britney and they finally headed for Splitsville, as is always the case. The rumoured fling with Naomi Campbell. When it comes to stars of the stature of Leonardo DiCaprio, the rumour mills are always running over time to get a glimpse of his personal life. Often, these rumours are simply baseless, but there are times when there is not some smoke without a fire. It seems like Naomi Campbell was one such instance and the rumours of their brief fling were strong as ever in 1995. However, irrespective of whether or not the reports had any truth, they continue being great friends and take vacations together even today. Christian Zhang, the time when Leo got dumped. Yes, even Leonardo DiCaprio gets dumped, so you can imagine our chances in this harsh world. He dated this promising model for almost two years from 1996 to 1998, and many started to believe that Leo was becoming very serious about his date. However, it was simply not to be, and the actor got dumped by Christian Zhang, apparently because he was far too immature and had a keen liking for young models. A couple of rumoured flings along the way. It is rumoured that while Leo was dating Christian Zhang, he reportedly strayed on a couple of occasions, with two alluring supermodels being the cause of his undoing. Popular Victoria's Secret model Helena Christensen was one of them, and the two were seen partying together after the post-Titanic frenzy gripped Leo. Natasha Henstridge was the other young lady smitten by his charms, and these rumoured flings could have also impacted Christian Zhang's decision to move on to more serious pastures. Even Leo can have a crush. When you are Leonardo DiCaprio and you have a massive crush, you simply go ahead and date that person. That is exactly what happened when Leo first saw Amber Valletta on the covers of a magazine. He was immediately interested to know her better and his reps were ordered to track her down. They briefly dated in 1998, but soon the crush waned and Leo went along his merry ways. Ending the 90s with Bijou Phillips and Eva Herzegova. The former was the daughter of famous singer John Phillips, and while they dated, Leo got her the first big Hollywood break from James Toback. The director cast her in his movie Black and White, but the relationship soon fizzled out as Leo took to another Victoria's Secret model, Eva Herzegova. They were rumoured to be dating for almost a month, and this was quite a scandalous affair because she was married to Bon Jovi drummer Tico Torres during this time. His first long-term relationship, Giselle Bunchin. Come the year 2000, Leonardo DiCaprio had matured from the boy wonder to one of the most talented young actors in the industry. He also entered his first major relationship with Giselle Bunchin, which lasted for five long years. Even as they parted ways, there was never any bitterness and Giselle remembered him fondly for their wonderful time together. She later revealed that she was struggling with a major lifestyle change and found him lacking in her soul-searching phase. They were simply not meant to be, even though they looked absolutely ravishing together. The perfect Disney couple. Bar Raffaelli, possibly his longest relationship 
However, after splitting from Giselle Bunchin, DiCaprio found solace in the arms of yet another Victoria's Secret model, Bar Raffaelli. This Israel-born supermodel shared his passion for activism and their relationship seemed so steady that people started speculating if Leo would put a ring on her. However, the couple did take a break for six months in 2009 during which DiCaprio was frequently seen with another Victoria's Secret model, Anne V. It seems like he owes a lot to the organisation, which almost acted as Tinder for the legendary actor. He went back to dating Bar Raffaelli, but eventually they broke up officially in 2011. A steamy affair with Blake Lively and a few more models to follow. Before Blake Lively went on to date Ryan Reynolds, she had a brief five-month romance with Leonardo DiCaprio, during which they were one of the most talked about couples in Tinseltown. They didn't try too hard to hide their relationship status and were frequently seen together before Leo moved on to date more of the supermodels. He was involved with Madalena Chihina while he was shooting for The Great Gatsby and later dated Erin Heatherton, another Victoria's Secret showstopper for 10 months in 2012. Tony Garn and their on and off relationship. DiCaprio and Tony Garn had barely started dating for a year before they broke up in 2014. It was believed that the Titanic star's wild lifestyle and leaving a nightclub in Miami with 20 women contributed to their separation. They got back together in 2017 momentarily, but by then Tony Garn had turned 25 and things didn't quite work out like before. Jokes apart, they simply couldn't make it work and Tony Garn went on to get engaged to Alex Petty fear. The Rihanna saga, or maybe it was just the way they lied. We will never know if DiCaprio and Rihanna dated for real, but tabloids and entertainment news media went crazy about the possibility. They were seen together on a couple of occasions, partying together and having a good time, and people were quick to jump to conclusions. Rihanna, however, denied being in a relationship and even if they were dating, it was only for a short-lived affair that died out pretty soon. We don't know about the truth to these rumours, but given that Rihanna was 27 back in 2015, chances are that they were never in a serious relationship. I'm Jack Dawson. Rules do with big hitter. To get you right there, one down. The long line of pre-25 models. It's not that DiCaprio stepped past the 25 years age mark set for his dates before, but now he was nearing his 50s and people started to take notice of this peculiar trait. From the likes of Kelly Robach to TV presenter Laura Whitmore to Ford model Victoria Lee Robinson, the list continued to grow longer and every breakup happened in time before they turned 25. He followed it up with more pre-25 models like Georgia Fowler and Nina Agnes and it would always be a romantic vacation followed by a few more appearances together before they split. His last known relationships were with Lorraine Ray followed by his long stint with Camilla Morone. This actress model went on to vouch for Leo as an amazing partner and bash those questioning their age difference. However, the clock kept ticking for her as well and just as she turned 25, it was revealed that the couple had split. Was it just a string of coincidences or does Leo actually fancy his women? to be in a particular age group, we will never know. But with one thundering performance after another and his dedicated environmental activism, one has to be too shallow to question his personal choices. People shouldn't be jealous if they can't live life Leo-sized. It might be easy to judge someone for his life choices, which seem distant from the ordinary. We are often quick to dismiss the fact that he is not an ordinary soul either. One of the greatest actors of all time gets the leverage to live life his own way as long as he isn't breaking the law over his choices. Leo has the luxury of dating young women because he is worthy and most of those hating on him secretly wish they had a tiny percentage of his life. The young ladies are in consensual relationships and we have never heard of any allegations against him that might prompt anyone to think otherwise. If he can be happy and deliver one hit after another, maybe it's also time for people to sit back and let him be. We got to the end now, folks. Surely we don't want this to be 25 minutes video. Do let us know in the comments below about your thoughts on the personal relationships of this legendary actor. And don't forget to tell us about your favourite slice of gossip that you would want us to cover next.